Voltage Lee's current plot in a Shockley diode circuit. If we graph the sequence of events and plot the results on an I slash V graph, the hysteresis is evident. First, we will observe the circuit as the DC voltage source, battery, is set to zero voltage, figure above. Next, we will steadily increase the DC voltage. Current through the circuit is at or nearly at zero, as the breakdown limit has not been reached for either transistor. When the voltage breakdown limit of one transistor is reached, it will begin to conduct collector current even though no base current has gone through it yet. Normally, this sort of treatment would destroy a bipolar junction transistor, but the PNP junctions comprising a Shockley diode are engineered to take this kind of abuse, similar to the way a Zener diode is built to handle reverse breakdown without sustaining damage. For the sake of illustration, I'll assume the lower transistor breaks down first, sending current through the base of the upper transistor, figure above. As the upper transistor receives base current, it turns on as expected. This action allows the lower transistor to conduct normally, the two transistors sealing themselves in the on state. Full current is quickly seen in the circuit. When one transistor breaks down, it allows current through the device structure. This current may be viewed as the output signal of the device. Once an output current is established, it works to hold both transistors in saturation, thus ensuring the continuation of a substantial output current. In other words, an output current feeds back positively to the input, transistor base current, to keep both transistors in the on state, thus reinforcing or regenerating itself. If the DC voltage source is turned down too far, though, the circuit will eventually reach a point where there isn't enough current to sustain both transistors in saturation. As one transistor passes less and less collector current, it reduces the base current for the other transistor, thus reducing base current for the first transistor. The vicious cycle continues rapidly until both transistors fall into cutoff. Here, Positive feedback is again at work. The fact that the cause-slash-effect cycle between both transistors is vicious. A decrease in current through one works to decrease current through the other. Further decreasing current through the first transistor indicates a positive relationship between output, controlled current, and input, controlling current through the transistor's bases. The resulting curve on the graph is classically hysteretic. As the input signal, voltage, is increased and decreased, the output, current, does not follow the same path going down as it did going up. Put in simple terms, the Shockley diode tends to stay on once it's turned on, and stay off once it's turned off. No in-between or active mode in its operation. It is a purely on or off device, as are all thyristors.